Hello and welcome to another video. I hope that you're all very well. Today I would like to talk about an important topic that affects each and every single driver. And that is the difference between a giveaway and a stop sign. However, before I get started, I just wanted to say a big thank you to all our subscribers because without you guys, this video today would not be possible. If you're not a subscriber and you're watching this channel, then please hit that subscribe button. So one, you're supporting the channel and two, you do not miss out on our great videos. So let's get started. Here we have a giveaway sign. Now it's in a red triangle. As you know, or you should know, all signs in a red triangle is warning. So this triangle is warning us that there's a hazard. Now, you may notice something unusual about the giveaway sign compared to other warning signs. It's upside down, correct? The other warning signs, all other warning signs, the base is at the bottom and it's pointing up like so. The giveaway sign is the only sign with the base at the top pointing downwards. There's a couple of reasons for that. Firstly, if there were several other signs, the giveaway sign will stick out. You'll be easily be able to distinguish it as a giveaway sign amongst the other signs. And secondly, if it was snowing and the whole sign was covered in snow, you would still know that it's a giveaway sign because of the upside down triangle, because it's the only triangle that is upside down. Most giveaway signs will have the word giveaway written inside it. However, that's not compulsory and it's not always the case. One thing about these signs is that they're very expensive and councils cannot afford to put it at every single junction that we drivers need to give way to. So often they use a cheaper solution, which is road markings. They use giveaway markings instead, which is two broken white lines at the end of the road, like so. On approach to some junctions, you may even see the giveaway triangle painted on the road uh, before the giveaway lines. So what does the sign actually mean? The giveaway sign means that we must give way to traffic on the main road, regardless of whether it's coming from our left or whether it's coming from our right. It makes no difference. We must give way. If you are 99% sure that the road is clear, then you need to stop. Only go, only go past the giveaway lines, past the giveaway sign, if you are 100% sure that it is safe to proceed. On the approach to these giveaway lines, the left is clear, but we cannot see the right. We must slow right down and plan to stop. But at the same time, we must hope to go. As the road is clear, it is not necessary to stop. We can see another giveaway junction. Furthermore, we can see a painted giveaway triangle on the approach. We look towards our right, then the left, and right again before deciding to proceed. We must be 100% sure that it is safe to proceed before proceeding. Now let's move on to the stop sign. The stop sign is a red octagon with the word stop spelt inside it. Compared to most countries, the UK does not use many stop signs. When they are used, 
it means that there's a hazard that there's a hazard that you may not be able to see until you have stopped and properly assessed the situation and had a good look and assessed the situation the highway code uses the words should for advisory and must for for legal uh, so if the word must is used in the highway code that is law the highway code states that we must obey all traffic signs so the stop sign is a legal sign by law we must come to a stop whenever there's a stop sign there going past a stop sign without stopping is similar is the same as going through red traffic lights if you did not stop at a red traffic light you would get three penalty points and a large fine it's the same at a stop sign now a stop sign is always accompanied by a stop line as well which is a white solid line running across the across our side of the road should I say and often but not always you will get the word stop written on the floor as well on approach to this junction we can identify the red octagon stop sign we can also see the white solid stop line and the word stop written on the floor we must stop at the stop line and then make the necessary observations looking to the right left and right again and then emerge out as it's safe to do so now that you have an understanding about the giveaway and the stop sign let's just spend a minute talking about the uk driving test many learner drivers tend to treat both the giveaway and the stop sign in the same way the driving examiner will expect you to have a knowledge about the difference at a giveaway sign the examiner will only expect you to proceed without stopping if you are 100% sure that it is safe to proceed if you are 99% sure that means that you've got that 1% doubt and you must stop if you've stopped and you cannot see then you can creep forward edge forward like a crawling speed like a baby's crawling along that sort of speed edge forward stop and then make the observations again at a sorry at a stop sign you must come to a stop so it'd be no point even making observations on approach just treat it as if though there were red traffic lights so go along using the msm routine and stop at or before the white stop line if you cannot see after you've stopped then you can edge forward slightly but stop again before making the observations and then proceed when it's safe to do so if you have benefited from this video then please consider sharing it with somebody else so they can benefit from it and at the same time the channel can grow thank you for your time take care bye bye